everyone how are you all doing in this video we are going to talk about the watch os 9.3 beta 2 apple has released the 9.3 beta 2 today and we are going to talk about what's new in this update and is it worth installing this beta 2 of watch os 9.3 on your apple watch my name is jay and you are watching tech hyped before starting this video a quick little warning for you guys if you are planning to get on a beta and you are not on beta right now this is for people who are on official version and is considering coming on the beta version you cannot downgrade your watch once you are on a beta you will be on a beta until and unless you just have to be on the rc release and remove the profile and then only you will be able to come back on the official update track otherwise you just can't downgrade and uh, betas on watch is a much bigger hassle in case something goes wrong compared to your iphones of course betas being betas they are very buggy and i they am giving you a warning if you are on official version stay on it if you are on a beta let's talk about is it worth installing the beta 2 coming from a beta 1 to beta 2 let's get right into this video my name is jay and you are watching tech hyped if you are new here hit that subscribe button we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can i installed the 9.3 beta 2 on my apple watch and in this video we are going to talk about the number one thing is performance the performance on the beta 2 of 9.3 seems a bit more snappy and as i talked about in my previous video i was having some animation bugs on my watch Watch on 9.3 beta 1 and i use i was using 9.3 beta 1 since past about a month as you know apple was on a break and we got betas after so long so i have been using it for a long time and 9.3 in terms of battery life has been really really bad the battery screen on time i'm getting is really tremendous of course it is a beta and that to a beta 1 i can't expect anything better from it but the battery life was really terrible and i expect that this thing the beta 2 of 9.3 will be better in terms of battery life as it is a second beta and second betas are tend to have more screen on time and better battery life compared to the first beta the animation bugs and the performance seems to be noticeably better compared to the 9.3 beta 1 so if you are willing to download the beta 2 go ahead and download it it is much better than the beta 1 in pretty much every aspect uh only if you are on a beta if you are on a public version i would strictly say no don't install it number one reason it just does not have anything major new on this update so there is no point to just install a beta the point to install a beta is that you can experience new features and changes before it is out to public and now when there are no new feature and changes big changes in this beta i don't think so it makes a lot of sense to just install this beta on your watch i will be coming up in my follow-up video where i will be coming out and talk talk about some hidden things that i may found in this update so look up to that video my follow-up video of watch os 9.3 will be coming up really really soon uh, so be sure to subscribe to this channel and turn on notification we are so close to 10k and i want to get to 10k as soon as we can thank you so much for watching this quick little episode of tech hype till the end i will catch you guys in the very next episode L write down your queries and questions what you have down in comments below or just hit me up on twitter at the rate tech hype i keep on talking to you guys about everything tech and everything apple uh, almost daily so hit me up on twitter hit me up on instagram anywhere your boy is really active and talking to you guys comment down below what are your thoughts peace out and have a great day everyone